What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 26 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We're being asked to say which of our answer choices could be modeled by a linear function. Now, the big, diff the big skill here is to know the difference between linear versus exponential functions. So let's briefly touch on that. If it's a linear function... That's supposed to say constant change. The idea of a linear function is that it changes by the same amount um, every time we change x. And we can see that from the idea of slope that I've touched on in other questions um, where I try to figure out the change in y over the change in x. Um, but in the case of a linear function, we're looking for something that changes at a constant rate where as x increases, we're adding the same thing to y. And so I look at choice a I see the amount of money Y in an account after X years earning 4% interest compounded annually. First thing I see is this 4%. Because if I see 4%, that's got to be 4% of something. And of always translates to multiplying when we have, uh, when we have a percent next to it. So this would be 4% times something. And anything that we're multiplying is not going to be a constant. That's going to fit an exponential function because we would multiply by the same thing every time. So it can't be A. I look at choice B and it says the monthly cost Y to use a cell phone for X minutes at a rate of 4 cents per minute. And that one looks a little different from A. So let's go ahead and try to write it out. Let's say... I don't know who uses their cell phone for one minute per month, but we'll go with it. So if it's four cents per minute, at one minute, that's four cents. At two minutes, that's four times two, eight cents. At three, that's four times 12, or four times three, 12 cents. At four minutes, that's four times four, 16 cents. So if I just write out some numbers for this problem, I can see that as x increases, I'm adding the same thing every time to y, and that's four. So let me go ahead and put a dot by this, because I'm not 100% sure yet if it's my answer. I need to knock out c and d first to know that for sure. So for C, the height Y of a ball after bouncing X times if each bounce reaches two-thirds of the previous height. So let's imagine that. We have a ball. It, um, it bounces and then it goes 27 feet. Bounces again and two-thirds of 27 is 18. Bounces and goes again. Two-thirds of 18 is 12. Bounces again and two-thirds of 12 is 8 and so on and so on and so on. Now we can see that we're actually not adding the same thing every time or subtracting the same thing every time. Because 27 minus 9 gives us 18, minus 6 gives us 12, minus 4 gives us 8. So that's, so that's definitely not adding or subtracting the same thing every time. So C is out as a possible choice as well. And for D, the amount Y of radioactive material remaining after X years when decay occurs at a rate of 30% each year, I see the same problem with this question that I see up here. It'll have to be 30% of something, so 30% times something, and that tells me that it can't be D. So A, C, and D are all examples of exponential functions, where we will end up multiplying by the same thing every time we want to go from one X value to the next one to get our Y values. Whereas only choice B represents something linear, because only in choice B are we adding the same thing to Y every time.